Hi friends, today I am going to make peanut garlic chutney powder or groundnut garlic chutney powder which is an accompaniment dish which is made with perfectly roasted peanuts, tamarind, cumin seed, red chilli and garlic cloves. This is a simple home, homemade and easy to make and you can store for a month. This can be served with a steamed, ghee, steamed rice with ghee or idli, dosa and chapatis. Ingredients for peanut garlic chutney powder. I have taken fried groundnut 1 cup, red chilli 10 to 12, jaggery or sugar you can take 1 teaspoon, also 4 tira. Garlic cloves have to take 10 to 12, jeera 1 teaspoon, turmeric powder half teaspoon, oil, salt for this. Instead of chilli you can get chilli powder also and little tamarind, small size tamarind I have taken. And I am going to add red chilli. When this is fried, we have to add garlic. I am adding 10 garlic cloves. And adding 1 teaspoon of jeera. Keep in medium flame and you have to fry. Now the red chilli fried nicely. I added tamarind and transfer to the plate. Even though it's a fried ground, before doing the powder, I'm frying for a few minutes and transfer to the plate. Afterwards, I'll transfer the plate to cool down. After cooling down, I'll grain. Already it is a fried one. I'm frying for few minutes. Now dry it nicely and switching off the gas and transfer to the plate. Now transfer to the plate to cool down to the room temperature. Now the peanut is cooled down. Now I am adding to the mixing. First I am adding red chilli, tamarind and lasun or garlic and grinding to a coarse powder. Red, red chilli, garlic, tamarind to the mixing and coarse, made coarse powder. Now I am adding Turmeric powder, asa fortida, ground nut, added the ground nut and jeera, now I am adding jaggery or salt, uh, jaggery or sugar and salt for this powder, 1 teaspoon and making a coarse powder. Adding jaggery or sugar is optional. And now the peanut garlic chutney powder is ready. I will transfer to the plate to cool down. Now the peanut or groundnut garlic chutney powder is ready. I will transfer to the plate to cool down. After it is cooled down um, completely, I will transfer to the added container. This can be served with a hot, steamed hot rice by adding ghee or even with a idli dosa or even with a chapati. Thank you for watching.